What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to some Telltale Batman series. Now, I've been wanting to play a Telltale game for a while, and this is uh, only one or two that I got free. So, yeah, we'll hop right into it. Uh, first of all, look at this. Who do I look like? Wow! This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I'm about to mess this whole story up then. <clears throat> Man, graphics are clean. How does man get bodied? The first few seconds of the game. out of here before anyone can stop us. want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Hey, coming in clean. <clears throat> Alright, so I don't play PC games like that, so bear with me. Back to back, circle up. 
me a smoke bomb. You think you like? I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Hey! What's good? Oh! Game that stink meter. Boy, put that, put that down. Game that stink better. Oh, thought you had me. Okay. Right, who do you think? Oh, hold on. Man, German suplexed me through the door. Hold on, I didn't run that back. Come on. Come on. Run that back. What's good? Give me a stick meter. Boy, it ain't happening twice. It ain't happening twice. Learn from mistakes. Ooh. Buttons. Yeah, it ain't happening again. I almost messed up again. Yeah, forever getting stink metered out here. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Girl. Behind you, big boy. So are the police. Good. It's a scare tactic out. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all of this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. I do this. I do this for fun. I'll show you a thrill. Gotta admit it though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, bat. <laughs> Uh, you ain't say nothing but a word. Girl. You ain't say nothing but a word. I'm out here. What's good? This man, if I 
never try to get people that kick. That man is not discriminating. that trouble for this shit a myth can't be killed you however are flesh and blood god damn it i said don't shoot no mm -hmm. wait come on batman get her I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Okay. Speak up. Who put you up to this? Answer me or I let go. But you won't. You're not that kind of guy. Are oh, you testing me? Bye, bet. <laughs> this little she stole. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well, then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with Dan? corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause. He would sh Well, there he is. Boy. Fashionable and fashionably late as always. I'm here. What up? Say hi, Bruce. <laughs> I 
Yeah, yeah. Enjoy I'll, drinking my wine. Enjoy my stuff. It's worth more than most of you. <laughs> no, he's he's kidding everyone. <laughs> oh, you think no so? No wine is that expensive. Thank you, you thank know. you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? Bye. I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone... I gotta explain alone. myself to you. What you, what you thought this was? No one came here tonight to see me. Some they want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. Where the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place <sighs> for families again. So you know just what? put on your billionaire smile and don't let me finish anymore. my drink. Ah, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. Yeah, I'm gonna help you. It always out. makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. A new face right, for Gotham. Right. How about uh, I'm, a I'm new play, I'm face play nice. for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Somebody's arriving fashionably late. I drink a whole bottle. Oh, Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. I'm, I'm playing nice. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix huh. those. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? Hey, you messed your whole campaign up touched. now. Old families like ours here. should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, hey, it's she true. Got the pinky the out. That's how I drink all my reminders of when I drink water and stuff like that. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. I don't know. There's always a Oh. Forgive me I have to make sure I was actually one. recording because one man can't save this city. I suck at recording. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman or whatever it's called. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> hmm. Don't worry though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, 
to be killed in a botched robbery. This man brought my mom anyway. into it. It was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe. Uh, well, I don't. Uh, Y'all to focusing too movies. much on me, the negatives. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you. And thank you both. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night hey, of Hey, give me another drink. Hey. This. Uh, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor. I'm eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and this ask is not your questions, house. do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the oh, press shit. conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Yeah, well, here he for certainly me. doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. This is not your house. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now, so formal. Call me Bruce. Hey. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing Bruce everyone. Bruce got her flustered a little bit. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Bruce, like, well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Hey, Bruce laying it all heavy. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Um is that blood? Yeah. It looks like I, oh, this I, I no, cut myself so shaving. Just, uh, cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Man! Excuse us, Miss Vale. You brought a criminal to my house. I'm giving him a ten-star treatment. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't want him in Maybe my house. Maybe you can change your mind. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. Hmm. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, well, you couldn't afford flash, my house. No class. Well, you couldn't afford it. You couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Hi. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Bruce, Bruce gave him that look. Hey, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays this, with this us. This is my house, though. A man's home is his castle. 
I respect like, that. how they come to my house making Seen rules? Seen and not heard. Whatever I, you... I, what did I say? Nah, I mean, you little punk. You should have stayed. I should have just left you outside. Let these people Mr. punk Mr. District you. Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. <laughs> well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I ain't hit a chin wag. Do I even want to back this man anymore? This man getting a punk. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this Trust for me. What? Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? You better stop okay, acting this house yours. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your... Lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing but going, not, so I don't see friends. why we shouldn't team I'm like Drake right now, no new friends. Yeah, Get out. that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. All right, put your head back down. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand the situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. What? Keep my Don't dad's name out your mouth. Talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Well, I just did. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. You can't afford the it. Owners I'm going to say it again. He's going to get what's coming to him. Uh -oh. I'm open to all threats. me. after a break. 
break in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, the stolen items were returned. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Family. Alfred. Weakling. Yeah, we're getting punked up there. The it's the mayor. Catwoman. AKA. Okay, Penguin. James Gordon. Vicky Vale. What's going on here? Carmine, Fal Carmine Falcone? Falcone? Alright, these just places. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's up on a disc. Fell off a building for this? Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. I'm working, man. I'll leave as soon as I finish. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Uh, in the process. But what are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Hello. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, rotate, rotate. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Alfred, Can't make sense make of it funny. yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove. It was under zero. control, man. I had... I had everything under control. That's true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone. Thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? Mm. It can again, Bruce. Can it? Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. But I don't have from that. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. 
Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. Bye. I've had to cover from mysterious injuries before. You've been lucky. Or I'm just a really good liar. A necessary evil in your line of work, I suppose. <laughs> Though I hope you change careers someday. Ah, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, hey. however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Ah. Uh. I, don't, I ain't gonna understand. Well, as much as I enjoy having this one-sided conversation, even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Let's go. Cobble Park? Wow, Cobble Park? Cobble Pot Park. Where are you, Oz? Why ain't Sean's Falcon here? <laughs> see, I see him laying next to some bottles, but I'm gonna be a good citizen today. Thank you, sir. It's a game. I don't support people's bad habits in real life. I would walk right past them. Statue. There's the statue, but no Oz. Eh. Smoky Man. I'd rather look at the shopping cart. Watch wallet cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. Boy. What are you waiting for? Try me. Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? Try me. And him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're oh. in the moment! Oh. Come here. I think that'll do. Oh. 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 
Oh, dang. little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, Besides, I had it handled. Someone needed to deal with the rubber situation here. Hey, I could have handled that myself. You mean a knife handle in the back? Because that's what would have happened, mate. Uh, no, Why you tell? Yeah, all right. God, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh... Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little roost I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mum and Dad, they put so much work in here. You know what? You're right. Yeah, never Bruce, like is oh, Bruce is for the kids. Bruce is for the kids. Those were better days. That they were. Yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad. Ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Ah. Now all I got is this park. And what's left in this flask. That's how it goes, Well, it's just the way it goes sometimes. It's out of our control. Well, obviously, but you don't have to be a dick about it. You know, when I saw you at the party last night, I thought, Bruce Wayne, ah, has it changed a bit? Maybe I was wrong. Shouldn't have been a surprise when I saw you with Carmine Falcone. Made himself right at home. That oily. <sighs> Wish I could have punched that grin in the back of his throat. He wasn't invited, just like Falcone you weren't invited. Was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Bacconi made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, though. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be beautiful. Are you threatening me, Oz? Yeah. Take it as you like. I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. So you're threatening me, is what you're saying. Bet. Write it down, Bruce. Good seeing you, Bruce. But I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Add him to the list, Bruce. Press conference for a new hospital starts soon. Car waiting on South Side Park. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Hmm. I'm about my business. Good morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss yeah, corny stuff off the stage. Now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Alfred, what you want? Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and what suicide about, inside about? the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse mm -hmm. still, those who do get out, or God mm -hmm. forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. Yeah. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Um... Uh, My parents yeah, love that. Gotham. <laughs> they invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, Take it slow, my parents Chris. took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man. Take it slow, Bruce. Hey, Vicky. We needed fail. the kind of help this new facility <clears throat> will provide. Uh, With this I'm going to go with the campaign. I'm going to help out. And our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Vicky Thank you. Vale. Mm -hmm. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? Um, I, I, I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable. Put our citizens yeah, in that. jeopardy. We can do better. We... All right, who's up next? Oh, Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. Uh, nah, he ain't, he ain't I don't a friend. make friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? <laughs> But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? Well, we about to get hostile out here. How dare you? I just finished telling you about my parents' murder, and you accuse them of being, what, criminals? 
Have some decency. Mr. <laughs> Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne well, Enterprises I'm done. paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be you filling your questions from here on out. Falcone. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to. It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred. Keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. You need to be the guy yeah, doing who, your taxes. Who authorized who this? Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Hey, you... Call him out, Bruce. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> Hill and I... We have a vested interest to keep things professional. For Gotham's sake. Doesn't mean I like the words whistling through his windpipes. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's chopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. What is going on, girl? I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Uh, uh, ain't no it's, problem. It's not a problem, really. Ah, <sighs> Bruce. First the mayor's office, now Wayne Manor. <laughs> Gotham continues its streak of break-ins. <laughs> really going for the record, huh? Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through hey. my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources there isn't a shred of hard proof still allegations like this they they don't magically appear someone is going after my family after Falcone. me 
Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and I, I already know who behind it, though. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild I speculation. Say less. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. Just Whoever so. fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood. And it's That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. That's a promise right there. But you're Vicky, gonna beat stop this, by any time though. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family. We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. This man probably in Falcone's pocket. But that's gonna be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and like button and share button and leave a comment, all of the above. Uh, until next time, I'm out. Peace.